Are you looking for a quick and easy rocket to do with kids? Well, I have just the thing for you with my experiment, Fizzy Rockets. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your film canisters and get ready for launch. Parents and adults, this is a good one to do outside. For your fizzy rocket, here's what you need. A film canister, it's okay if you don't know what this is, you can buy them online. I will link the one that I use in the caption. Some cold water, cold water will make these go a lot higher. And a single Alka-Seltzer tablet. Here's why we use Alka-Seltzer. In an Alka-Seltzer tablet is an acid and a base. Citric acid, the same stuff that's in lemon juice, and baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. And if you've ever mixed sodium bicarbonate, baking soda with an acid, you know what happens. It gets bubbly, right? Let's see that in action. So if I just hold my Alka-Seltzer tablet here and add a little bit of water, look at that. You see all those bubbles? That is an acid-based chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles. So now we can ask the question, what would happen if we put that chemical reaction inside a container and then shut the lid? You're going to need some safety goggles for this one. Throw your Alka-Seltzer tablet into your film canister. Now throw some water on top. You don't need a lot of water. You just wanna cover your Alka-Seltzer tablet. Oh, I see the bubbles, I see the bubbles. Now firmly, firmly put on the lid and flip it over. Now the bubbles are building and building and building and the pressure is building and building and building until the film canister can't take the pressure anymore. Whoa, and it explodes. And that is your film canister rocket. With our fizzy rocket, you can experiment with different temperatures of water. We're using cold water because we want our rockets to go as high as possible. Why does that work? Well, because when you use cold water, the reaction, those bubbles, they build slower, more gently. When you use hot water, those bubbles build and build and build and they knock off your film canister cap quicker than you would like it to. When the reaction happens slower, it gives it time for bubbles to build and build and build and you get more air, more fuel in your rocket. And because of Newton's third law for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. When air moves downward, you have a rocket going upward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The bubbles are building and building. Oh, that was another big one. <laughs> I'm going to try to do eight at once. This is gonna be terrifying. Let's go. One, uh, two, three. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Four, ah! five. Oh my goodness, six. Oh my goodness, seven. No, I'm miscounting. I forget how to count, I'm too scared. Seven. That was gonna be a big one. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Ah, wow! Thank you for making a fizzy rocket with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Whoa. Woohoo! Emily's Science Lab.